Frist Dam Pumps is a leading manufacturer of high quality sanitary stainless steel pumps, blenders, and mixers. FP and FPX Centrifugal Pump Seal Replacement. Before beginning, follow your company's lockout, tagout procedure. Reference the FP, FPX maintenance manual online for additional safety precautions, tool sizes, torque values, and technical information. The FP pump features a double seal and pedestal mount, while the FPX pump does not. The maintenance is the same. Tools required. Two 3 quarter inch wrenches. 15 16 inch socket with ratchet. Level. 3 32 inch Allen wrench. Soft faced hammer. 7 16 inch wrench. 3 8 inch diameter rod. Food grade lubricant. Pliers. FP and FPX pumps do not require gapping if simply changing a seal. Removing the seal. To begin, remove the flange guard. Using a soft faced hammer, remove the cover and discard the cover O ring. Remove the impeller by placing a 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole to lock the shaft. Use the socket with ratchet to remove the impeller nut. Discard the impeller nut gasket and remove the rod. Remove the impeller and discard the impeller O-ring. Remove the impeller key by compressing the seal spring. Remove the front seal driver and seal spring and discard them. Remove the rotating seal, seal washer and O-ring and discard them. For double seal pumps with a water flush, remove the water pipes. Loosen the housing clamping bolt with two wrenches until it is loose in the flange support. Note, the clamping bolt does not have to be removed. Slide the pump housing off of the end of the pump shaft. Place the pump housing face down on the housing studs. Remove the retaining ring, but do not discard it. Pull the stationary seal out of the seal cavity and discard. Check for the flat gasket in the bottom of the seal cavity. Remove and discard the gasket. Clean the seal cavity if necessary. To remove the rear seal components, carefully slide the rear rotating seal, seal washer and seal o-ring off the pump shaft and discard. Then remove the rear seal driver and spring off the pump shaft and discard. Installing the new seal. When replacing a seal, use all of the components of the new seal kit and discard all old seal components. Failure to use Fristam genuine parts will void the pump warranty and can result in seal failure. Parts of a Fristam seal kit. Outer seal driver O-ring. Seal driver. Inner seal driver O-ring. Rotating seal spring. Rotating seal washer. Rotating seal O-ring. Rotating seal. Flat gasket. Stationary seal. Stationary seal O-ring, flush seal, flush seal O-ring, flush seal washer, flush seal spring and driver. When handling seals, avoid touching the new seal faces as much as possible. Use denatured alcohol and a soft cloth to clean seal faces. First, install the double seal components. This includes the rear seal driver and spring, the seal washer, the seal O-ring, and the flush seal. To install the stationary seal into the hub of the pump housing, place the pump housing on a clean surface with the hub side up. Inspect the hub area to ensure that it is clean. Place the flat gasket into the hub of the pump housing. Make sure that it is all the way to the bottom and that it is seated evenly. Install the stationary seal into the housing hub with the small face entering the hub first. 
Install the stationary seal O-ring onto the back of the stationary seal. Do not lubricate this O-ring. Improper fit may cause leakage or seal damage. Place the retaining ring on the housing hub, aligning the holes in the retaining ring with the holes in the hub. Thread the four retaining ring bolts through the holes in the stationary seal retaining ring and into the housing hub. Alternately tighten the bolts so that the retaining ring secures evenly. Uneven tightening could result in seal damage. Check for proper torque. Carefully slide the pump housing over the pump shaft and back against the flange support. The stationary seal may be damaged if it makes hard contact with the pump shaft. If the pump housing does not slide into or out of the flange support easily, widen the flange support by driving a screwdriver into the slot on top. Slide the pump housing all the way into the flange support until the shoulder of the housing is against the flange support. Remove the screwdriver. If the pump has a double seal, make sure that the water pipe holes in the pump housing are aligned with the holes in the flange support and that the pump head is level. While holding the pump housing against the flange support, tighten the clamping bolt in the flange support. Install the seal water pipes for double mechanical seals or water cascade option by threading them into the housing and tighten. You are now ready to install the rotating seal assembly. First, lubricate the seal O-ring. Place the seal O-ring inside the rotating seal. Now, place the seal washer into the rotating seal. Next, install one end of the seal spring into the rotating seal, making sure that the tab of the spring is in the slot of the rotating seal. Finally, Install the tab on the other end of the seal spring into the hole on the front seal driver. The rotating seal assembly is now ready to be installed onto the pump shaft. Rotate the pump shaft so the keyway is on top. Now slide the rotating seal assembly onto the pump shaft. Lubricate the outside O-ring and install it in the groove on the front of the seal spring and driver assembly. Compress the spring assembly with two fingers and install the impeller key into the keyway on the pump shaft. Slide the impeller onto the shaft, making sure to align the keyway in the impeller with the key in the shaft. Lubricate the impeller nut gasket and place it onto the impeller nut. The raised face of the gasket will go into the groove on the impeller nut. Thread the impeller nut onto the shaft. Place the 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole. Using a socket with a torque wrench, torque the nut to the foot-pound amount listed in your maintenance manual. Remove the rod. Using a feeler gauge, ensure the impeller gap is correct. Install the cover O-ring. Install the cover. Install the cover nuts and tighten with a soft-faced hammer. Rotate the shaft to check for rubbing. If any is detected, recheck your seal installation. Replace the flange guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service. Shaft change and gapping. To change the shaft, first remove the pump's cover, impeller, and seals as shown. Remove the seal water pipes. On pumps with a double mechanical seal or water cascade option, with the pliers. Loosen the housing clamping bolt with two wrenches until it is loose in the flange support. Note the clamping bolt does not have to be removed. Now slide the pump housing off the end of the pump shaft. If the pump housing does not come off the flange support easily, widen the flange support by driving a screwdriver into the slot on top. Place the pump housing face down on the housing studs. Loosen the shaft collar screw on the shaft collar with the Allen wrench. Pull the pump shaft off the motor shaft. To install the new shaft, align the slot of the clamping ring directly over the slot on the shaft. Then slide the new shaft collar onto the pump shaft, but do not tighten the shaft collar screw at this time. Slide the pump shaft and collar shaft onto the motor shaft. Carefully slide the pump housing over the pump shaft and back against the flange support. 
The stationary seal may be damaged if it makes hard contact with the pump shaft. If the pump housing does not slide into the flange support easily, widen the flange support by driving a screwdriver into the slot on top. Slide the pump housing all the way into the flange support until the shoulder of the housing is against the flange support. Remove the screwdriver. If the pump has a double mechanical seal or water cascade option, make sure that the water pipe holes in the pump housing are aligned with the holes in the flange support. While holding the pump housing against the flange support, tighten the clamping bolt in the flange support. Install the seal water pipes for double mechanical seals or water cascade option by threading them into the housing and tighten with the pliers. Reassemble the pump head as previously shown, including all parts but the cover and flange guard. You are now ready to set the impeller gap. If you have removed the pump shaft from the motor shaft for any reason, such as replacing the shaft or motor, you must reset the gap. The gap is measured between the impeller and pump housing using feeler gauges. With the shaft collar still loose, push the shaft slightly forward to leave room to adjust the gap. Place the correct feeler gauge behind two blades of the impeller. Using a soft-faced hammer, tap on the front of the impeller nut until the impeller is snug against the feeler gauge. Tighten the shaft collar screw on the shaft collar to the proper torque. Remove the feeler gauge. Check the gap on each blade of the impeller to see if the gap on each blade is correct. Reinstall the cover and flange guard as previously shown. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service.